I've taken a look at the bigger players in the space, place, and now I give the spotlight to the smaller creations that may pique your interest if sci-fi or space is your thing. So I try to compile a list of games for this year, but as I try to inquire about each game to the devs themselves directly, I quickly realize that most devs don't even know what this contact email thing even is in their home pages. So in most cases, I got no info from them. And so I had to weather the storms of reddits and other questionable places like the dark web for answers. Ooh, completely illegal research! Okay, okay, I'm being facetious, but seriously, you get my point. Companies, get your contacts in order! Anyways, then let's start with the game that just this year managed to do something that Star Citizen has not done yet. Make a full release! Objects in Space, a game that actually one day appeared in my inbox and was sent by the dev himself. So I looked at it and though I'm not a big fan on reading, the game had a rather unique style and had quite interesting mechanics, as you can see on the screen right now. Indeed, this was one of the games that made me want to make this video. So if this looks like something you'd like to try out, well, it's on the Steam and hey, after playing it, maybe do leave a review as well as it helps the small games more than you think. Unless, of course, you're a piece of shit acid flipping garbage, of course. Thanks, Steam! Then next up we have Helium Rain. Uh, just like Objects in Space, this too appeared in my inbox one day, but unlike Objects in Space, this one actually was one of the first ones. And ever since I tried it, I was looking for a way to include it in some sort of a video or something and give it a little bit of that limelight. So. Here we are today. The game is using Unreal Engine and it looks pretty cool with its bloom effect and all that. Usually I hate it with passion in other games, but here it's used well for the artistic look. Overall, Helium Rain for me is more about trading and basically floating in space, but hey, it is calm and relaxing, so I don't mind it at all. In fact, I actually really like it. And if you too want to check it out, there will be a Steam page down below. Though for the price of this game, you can kind of get Elite Dangerous in a small sale, so it's not exactly cheap. Okay, so the next one is Kerbal. Okay, folks, a lot. And I mean a lot of you been asking me to try and play it and showcase. In the past, I've said that I have tried it, and yes, indeed, I have. But due to the overcomplicated everything, I got scared and never tried it and touched it again. Well, I'm still afraid of all the things and all that stuff, but for your enjoyment, here's a penis rocket I built. But seriously, the last update on Kerbal was in July 11th. Uh, that's like one, nine, two, day, day, six days after I wrote this script. So what's new? Uh, let's see, uh, added vessel, uh, what? Adjusted the uh, Kerbal, wait, what? Added leave seed KSP action. Oh my God, the nightmares are coming again. Okay, okay, fine. Really, Kerbal is a quite a unique uh, rocket physics simulation uh, game. I, I guess it's a game, yes? Still, the silly atmosphere and quite in-depth mechanics will let you nerd out about thrusting both rockets and Kerbals themselves, uh, probably at each other, at nauseam, I guarantee. It's just a shame that contacting developers is impossible. Not even a contact email on their website, for fuck's sake. And here's some space engineers, a similar concept, I guess, but with more technical approach to space stuff and building, but done in more immersive way. I mean, from the first and third person perspective, personally, I find this game a curious case in game design. While yes, developers are responsive and even have posted a relative roadmap of what to expect, which is really nice, and there's a link in the description for it. Anyways, to this day, after how many years they have still not put in a tutorial in the game? And no, this? No one counts as a real tutorial. They are sure nice to have, but to call them an in-game tutorials is a shame and not true. If you really want me not to play your game in order to learn about it, well, I mean, I can just go and perhaps get distracted by someone else's game instead. Do you get my gist there, devs? But as for Space Engineers, a very unrefined gameplay, yet surprisingly capable. Yes, the game uses its building as a crutch way too many times, still it's very capable of more if you just give it a chance. The fact that you can actually dig through the planet, for me is quite a unique thing indeed, as even a couple of years ago, such thing as destructible environment was not possible. And no, I don't mean this. 
Ah, Outer Worlds got a release date on 25th December. All platforms and on PC, it's on Steam. But do not pre-order. It's stupid and only benefits companies. I repeat, do not pre-order. But as for Outer Wilds, an Epic Store exclusive that will release sometime this year? I mean, at least they said that they would be releasing this year. But as of making this video, there have been no further announcements. So, you know, instead, how about you take a look at Tartarus? Yes, it's a game released in 2007, but if you like puzzles and working with the console like you're some sort of a Neanderthal Linux user, this may just be it for you. Again, one of the games that just dropped in my inbox a long time ago, and surprisingly, it's playable too. Though, if you look up Steam reviews, yeah, it's true, the game is lacking in many places. But at least the first few hours, you'll have that sweet spaceship immersion and whatnot else. I guarantee you that much. Personally, I like the atmosphere, so that's why I personally like it. Eh, maybe I'm a sucker for it. Speaking of positive things, Everspace. It's a game. Um, yes, and it's still going well. Apparently, the development team is working on something something that they're not quite ready to announce. But in the meantime, they told me that they're working on stability and bug fixes that uh, <coughs> some other <coughs> games <coughs> I talk about don't do. <coughs> Anyways, Everspace comes from this prehistoric time of 2017 and, well, is a combat space roguelike type of a game. And obviously visuals is the first thing that jumps out for many. And hey, if you're into single player games, well, there you go. And so I think that's about it. Sure, I may have left out a few games, so let me know what games should I perhaps take a look at in the future. But as is, hopefully this was informative and more, so do share the video around and all that good stuff. Mm. Now that I think of it, certainly it feels like the space genre needs a bit more love these days. Not saying that there aren't good games, but uh, eh, could use a bit more.